Here we have a regenerative blower, also known as a side channel blower or a ring compressor. And this is another way, besides a multi-stage centrifugal blower, to um, make a vacuum system based on an induction motor. In, in a regular home central vacuum, the motors spin so fast that they can be really small, like this one, and have just uh, one or two, sometimes three, impeller stages and produce terrific performance. But since they have brushes, they usually don't last longer than 500 or 1,000 hours, which in a home gives you 20 plus years. But when you have commercial applications where the thing's running all the time, you need something a little more durable. And the induction motor suits that need because there are no brushes. Uh, it's just limited by the life of the bearings and, of course, not letting the windings overheat. But generally, these things can run for tens of thousands of hours uh, with, with ease. But they're limited to either 1,800 or 3,600 RPM instead of uh, 15,000 to 25,000 like these. So if you want to use a centrifugal design, you need a lot of stages, usually from 6 to 10 uh, impeller stages, like in a Spencer turbine blower, to get you, oh, you know, 50 to 100 inches of vacuum at the end of the hose. That's what's needed to create that. But this design came around, I believe, in the 70s. And it looks like there would just be a fan in here, just a centrifugal uh, bladed fan, but there's not. And that's why I've already got these bolts taken off, except the one. Because it's really neat how these work. So the air comes in down here. And look at that. Yeah, I guess they, you would call that an impeller. The blades are all around the outside, and the air does not move from the inside towards the outside. It comes in the outside, and it goes around the perimeter of the housing, and then back out. And what's happening is the air moves spirally uh, through as it interacts with these blades. And each one of those blades acts like uh, a fan stage, giving the air a little bit more pressure. And so you've got, I didn't even count these, there have to be close to a hundred uh, stages here. And this particular blower runs at a maximum of about 70 inches of water lift. You can use it uh, for blowing or for suction, but of course I'll be using it for, for suction, you know, as part of a vacuum system. But uh, let me put this back together. This particular one is powered by a three horsepower single phase induction motor and you can tell it's single phase immediately because it has capacitors on it but if you look at the name plate it's actually uh, made by a division of Amatech called Rotron it says EG and G Rotron but today you buy it as an Amatech uh, Rotron blower motor made by Emerson and you can wire this motor uh, just like the motors in my my single phase Spencer machines you can wire it for 115 or 230 volts but of course your amperage is half if you use it at 230. And these have a lot of applications. They're a lot lower cost to build than your multi-stage centrifugal blowers, which are a whole mess of parts. You need however many impellers there, you know, to represent the stages. The same number of deflectors between the stages. Uh, you need seals uh, in between the stages, and it all has to be built, and it's, it's time-consuming and labor-intensive. Uh, the performance curves are a little different. Sometimes a multi-stage centrifugal is a little better machine for the job, but this thing, let's see, 
you've got I guess you could make this out of one casting. It's it's got a muffler inside of it, so there's there's several pieces here. You've got the motor bolted onto the base. You've got this, that, and the impeller inside. So really only a few parts and pretty uh pretty quick to knock together. And for that reason, these things are a fraction of the cost of a multi-stage centrifugal blower with the same performance. And uh, Spencer Turbine actually uh, sells a, a regenerative blower under the name Vortex. So it's the Spencer Vortex blower. Uh, Hitachi makes them, Fuji makes them, uh, Gast, G-A-S-T, is a company that makes, uh, they call theirs the Regen Air blower. Um, okay, so now that that's in place... You can see I'm going to tilt this on its end. It is still pretty heavy being an induction motor. And this can either sit on the floor or get bolted to the floor or bolted to the wall. Uh, I've got the hose cuff in the intake side because I just had a hose screwed on here connected to a separator. This is the exhaust. These are both uh, inch and a half NPT. And if you had this actually as part of a system, you would want uh, metal tubing off the exhaust. And on the intake, you could just use plastic. But uh, this is slightly smaller than you would generally want for, a, for an industrial vacuum system. Usually those start at 5 horsepower for a single operator. And then 7.5 horsepower can give you two operators usually. But uh, another cool thing I think about these is the sound they make. It's uh, got a pretty high frequency owing to the great number of stages uh, that the air is going through. So we're going to fire it up now. Probably hard to hear the motor itself over the whistling uh, that the intake was making. So this moves a whole ton of air at medium pressure and uh, is is a very good choice for a medium size industrial vacuum cleaner where the thing has to run all the time. And uh, you know, despite its limitations, it's they're everywhere in in industry because they're such such good value for the money.